So today I will talk about 20 different features on the Samsung Galaxy device. Yeah, some of them may apply you, some of them you might have to wait because I'm using a Galaxy Fold 6 to teach you, but I'm going to teach you the basic, basic features on the Samsung Galaxy device, 20 of them. So stay tuned and go all the way to the end because all the way to the end, I will give you a couple of features that you might not even hear about this and it's really good for you, okay? So let's get started. Number one, we are going to be doing multi-windows. So in order to do multi-windows in a Samsung device, you just need to hold the recent button and then you will see there is another app right here. Now you can actually do multi-windows at the same time. And now if you can swap backwards, swap whatever you want, and now you can actually press a star if you actually use these two apps at the same time often. So you can press the start button right there and then you can put on the edge panel right here or you can put on the home screen. And every time when you go back to your home screen, you see right there, you press the button here. Now those two apps will turn on at the same time. That's number one. Number two, you can create a shortcut by just pressing and hold these buttons. Let's just say we're doing call. So you can see there's missed call, uh, search, and create contacts. If you want to create contacts, you hold it, and then you can put it up. Now create contacts is actually on your screen, okay, on your home screen. So now you can just press this, and then you can create whatever the contents you want. Okay, so number three, you can actually organize this. Let's just say if your home screen is everywhere, okay, we're just going to be like putting everywhere and it's not organized. Now you can actually press and press select one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? And now all you have to do is hold it, just organize a little bit, let it go. Now, Samsung organize everything for you on the home screen. Pretty cool, hey? Number four, you can actually stack widgets on the home screen. So let's just say this, these are the widgets, right? You can hold it, create stack. Now you can actually create more widgets on top of each other. So let's just say I want to put missing on, put it on and press add. Now you can see I create two widgets on the same widget, okay? So I stack them together. So that's how it works. And number five is, did you know that you can actually tell the Samsung Galaxy Fold to reset the phone by themselves? So let's just say if they feel like your phone is a little bit laggy, a little bit slow, they want you, and you can actually tell the Samsung device to reset by themselves. All you have to do is, you need to have a widget like this. This is a shortcut, okay? You go in there, all the way to the bottom, you see auto uh, optimization. When you press that, you can actually say auto reset. When you press that, you can actually reset when it's needed. So when they think your phone is getting like cluttered, getting slow, getting laggier, so you they will actually reset by themselves. Or you can actually reset by your own schedule. You just tell them when you want them to reset the phone. And then that's it. Usually they will reset in the midnight or when you're sleeping, okay? So number six. Number six is when we go back there, when we go to the performance profile, now you can actually go for a standard of light. So this is one of the good thing is, is better than using a uh, power saving mode. Because when you go to the light uh, performance profile, it's not necessary as in like a safe, uh, power saving mode. It just gonna cool down the system more often. So your phone will be a little bit faster, doesn't drain the battery that much. At the same time, you still get the performance. So you can set it up standard or light, it depends on you. For me, I gonna stay with standard because I usually edit my device I edit my video on my device. Number seven. Did you know that there is like this thing called RAM Plus? So this one here, we have 12 gig RAM. When you look at the RAM, when you go inside, you can actually add this thing called RAM Plus. So you can see this right now, it's getting like, you know, clean up 3K. But what if we didn't remember to clean up the device? So what you have to do is you can actually 
borrow the storage, uh, the storage gigabyte, and then transfer it into virtual uh, RAM. So at the bottom here, you see RAM plus. You can actually ask the Samsung phone, "Can I borrow four gig from the storage?" So now the storage they will take out four gig and then put it inside your RAM. So now you will have 60, 16 gig RAM, but 12 gig RAM is physically inside the phone, but 4 gig RAM will be special, but you can still use it when it's needed, okay? okay it's number eight is right here. If you go to the storage, did you know that Samsung right now at the bottom, they will actually tell you, yo, you have so many garbage in the trash, unused app, duplicate, files and large files. They will actually identify everything for you. You actually need to check it. Hey, do you need to delete this stuff? I say my trash like 34 gig. So I go in there and I just say I they identify my file and my gallery, right? I go in there, I just need to select everything and then delete. I do even remember that I have these type of videos, but because I go in there more often now, so I can tell that like, oh, I have so many trash inside my device. So you got to check it every single time when you look at your phone. Okay, so number nine. Number nine is you got to scan your phone quite often because there's going to be a lot of like third-party apps, APK, and things like that. So Samsung phone, there's a way you can scan your device. Just go on the widget again, go to app quotations, and you turn that on, okay? Once you turn this on, they will ask you, do you want to scan your phone? And this way you can actually scan your phone just by pressing that. And now your phone is being scanned right now, which is very, very, very useful. So number 10. So did you know that if you scroll down here, there's a lot of notification, right? And now let's just say I don't use this Gmail. Did you know that you can just hold it? Okay, just hold it and then just drag it. You can actually turn into a mini screen and you can let it go. And now you can see what is happening on that notification. Okay. So you just need to drag it out and that's it. Or you can actually do whatever you want. You can actually just drag it out like this. I just like drag it out like this. And then you can actually put, you know, split screen if you already have a screen already. Or else it will just like turn to mini screen whatever you want. So you don't have to bother what you, whatever you're doing. Let's just say you watch it YouTube. doesn't bother because just drag it out to a mini screen and that's it. Okay, number 11. So did you know that whenever you want to text someone, now the AI can text for you. Let's just say I say, how are you? And then because this is your boss or this is someone else, now you hold that, all you have to do is you press the AI button and then writing style. And then now the AI will generate a text message for you. Once you register this text message, let's just say which one you like the most. And then you press insert and press set. And then that's it. This is really, really cool because different way of speaking to a different person. So you got to see what you're texting to. All right. So number 12. Did you know that you can actually translate everything, the whole text into a different language just by pressing AI and then translation, chat translations. Okay. So what you have to do is let's just say we're going to go on one of these chat. Okay. And then we are going to be pressing the AI and then chat translation. And then we're going to translate into Chinese, English, whatever. Okay. And now these things will translate everything for you every time you type. Okay. So you can translate any language you want because I'm pretty sure there is so many language in here. When you add your language, you can see there is plenty of language you can change to, and then it just translate everything for you. Okay. Number 13, did you know that you can actually translate every time when you type? Okay, let's just say I want to type Chinese, but I want English. Okay, which one, which restaurant we restaurant we are going to. Okay, and now you can see 
they actually translate the sentence for you with no issue. When you press send, and then this is it, okay? This is how they translate the whole sentence without you doing anything, okay? So you just need to press this button right here, and then that's it. That's how it is, okay? And now number 13. Let's just do the gallery because gallery inside, there's a lot of features inside. We can just do it. So now you know that you can actually, let's just say we take a picture. You can hold it, okay? And then you can turn the stickers or image. So now let's do number 14. Let's just stick with the gallery, okay? And then now we do the AI. And there is like this thing called sketch to image. When you sketch to image, you can sketch anything you want. Let's just say, let's just draw a YouTube. Let's just see if, if they can recognize this YouTube and generate. And did you know that this AI is so amazing that it make it so real? I can show you right now. It's just pretty amazing. Oh, they didn't recognize that, but they did it a very, very good job. Right? You see this? This is pretty decent. And now if you like this, you can just save a copy and then that's it. Simple, right? So this is number 14. And number 15 is if you go from the side, same thing, you can do sketching on the top. Now you can draw anything you want. Okay. And then mountain, right? Mountain. And then let's just say it generate our cartoon. Okay. So let's see what it say. But this thing is uh, from the edge panel. You swipe it out. You can actually draw anything you want. And then that's it. It looks really, really good. Let's just say we want to refresh this. And then let's just say I draw something else. Okay. Mountain, mountain. Okay. Now at the right here, you can choose sketch, pop art, illustrations, and things like that. Let's just say we do illustration and generate. You can see it's just, it's not going to be 3D cartoon. It's going to be something else. You can see it's doing its job right now. Okay, it's like a sketch art. I don't know what this is, but it's pretty, pretty cool. You're on your um, notes, Samsung notes. We're going to do a sketch again. So on the Samsung notes, did you know that you can actually do a sketch as well? So let's just say we use this sketch. Make sure it's a pencil. Now you can you will use whatever you want, okay? And then now we are going to do some mountain water, and then we're going to have some sunlight, okay? And now we're going to use this AI sketch the image. It trace what you want them to do, and then let's just say we're going to do a three D cartoon again and generate. As you can see on the Samsung Galaxy Notes, you can see. Is already generate a huge, nice image already. Okay. Which is really, really nice. Basically, if you have something, okay, let's just say you're looking at the website and it's way too long. Did you know that if you press this AI button, you press OK because it's new, you can actually summarize everything for you. When you press the summarize, it will actually give out the point form what is happening on this website. All right. Because sometimes it's way too long. I want to be having a fast point form and that's it. They can do that for you. At the same time, if you see these blue, light blue words, you can hold it, drag it out. You can actually to take a look. What is that link about? You can see that it jumped to another website by without you who have to exit your previous website. And this is very, very important that you might not even hear about this. The last three features, you might not even hear about this. So let's just say we go back to here. Okay. And then you go all the way down. There's like this thing called maintenance mode. Maintenance mode is basically if you want to fix this phone, you crack your screen, you're going to fix this phone, but you don't want to lose all this information, but you don't want that person repair your phone to look at all the stuff that inside your phone. You can actually use the Samsung Cloud, okay, and basically back up everything you want, okay, up there, okay. 
doesn't matter if your phone is 16K, 60K, 100K, whatever. They will lend this as much storage as you need. They will lend to you for 30 days. Now you can actually ship your phone out, fix it, come back here, and then restore everything back into the phone. Okay. So this is how it works. Samsung allow you to do that. So you can actually, if you, before you sell the phone, back up everything. Okay. Temporary cloud backup or external backup. So if you have an SD card, put it in there, or if you have a memory card, just put it in there. And then you can actually just put it into an SD card. You don't have to put in the storage. Or if you don't have that, just go to the Samsung cloud. They will lend you anything you want. Then you can just ship it out. So this is very, very important. If you have, let's just say now, a big, big, big file, okay? And then I want to share this thing now. Did you know that if you want to share it to someone, let's just say someone is actually using an iPhone or someone that is not right beside you, but you want to send them something, you can actually send them a QR code, okay? However, back then, I mean, two days ago, they only allow you to send five gig of stuff put in the cloud and then send this link to someone else. When you press this link, they will generate a this QR code. Someone scan this or you send this on a WhatsApp, someone scan this and then that's it. The new feature is you can actually put 10 gig now. So from five to 10 gig now. So you can actually put 10 gig in this here and then they scan it and then they can download 10 gig of stuff inside the iPhone or the Samsung device that wish they're not near you right now. The last thing is, did you know that in Canada, there's a lot of people who have a very limited data. Let's just say they have 20 gig or 10 gig per month on their phone bills, okay? Now you can actually set up your data usage. You press the data usage on here, and then you can actually set a limit so you won't go past. If you go past this data, they will charge you. So now you can actually set this up and then you say your billing cycle is under whatever you want. And then you can set up a warning. Okay, so when it's 2K, they warned you. But if you set up the data limit, they will actually limit you so you cannot use it anymore. Okay, but because I have a limited data, I don't need any of those. But if you have a limit, uh, not lim unlimited data, you need to turn this on to prevent getting charged. All right, please subscribe my channel and share this video. This is uh, 20 big features on a Samsung device and some of them iPhone can even do it. All right, please subscribe my channel. This is a new channel and I will have another video version. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Peace out.